Good morning world from the all-star glamping tent. Sasha's making our last coffee before we check out today. Story's enjoying the cozy teardrop. Looks like a tear. It does, doesn't it? Looks like... <laughs> <laughs> this is Story's mud oval. You were really worried about that this morning, weren't you? Yeah. You I built that. First one and that one broke. Yeah. So... I went to the strawberry farm and the, and the grass was really long. I picked it up from the grass and then I lost it again. <laughs> so I made a new one, mm. found more mud, yeah. made a new one, so now it won't be ruined anymore. That's right. We're just about to have breakfast. Story's going to eat a crispy mushroom. We've got this kind of mungo salad here. Yeah, we've got it different from what we had yesterday. Mm -hmm. You like the crispy mushroom? Mm. Yum. I haven't tried it yet. Yesterday was like a barbecue, wasn't it? We had like char grilled veg and really nice stuff. So today they're all different. It looks like we've got tempura almost, mushrooms, cauliflower, mongo, sweet corn. We didn't have yesterday. So it's nice that they've provided a different breakfast every day. Yeah, I think perhaps we might have been the first vegans to ever stay here. Yeah, maybe cause... going forward they'll have a vegan menu. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is lovely, this is amazing that the chefs come up with this like, yeah. for not doing vegan stuff. This looks like a stalk from mushroom mm -hmm. and it looks like it's a full one. A full mushroom, yeah? Yeah, so they crisp it up and the stalk didn't even come off. Can try it? Yeah, let me try the stalk. Mm. It still breaks open. Yeah? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I think they grow those mushrooms here, Story. What? They've got a mushroom farm as well. Maybe not just a strawberry farm. It's also a mushroom farm, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So believe it or not, the whole time we've been here on Strawberry Mountain, there have been no strawberries. Not one strawberry is growing here to eat at the moment. They we are have... growing, but they're, they're just not ready yet. Yeah, they're not ready. Yeah. So today... I've been growing out, out my green green one but the other one has a bite in it yeah there's a green one over there but it's not ready and there is another one with a bite in it as story has been saying so what we thought today as we're checking out from here is to check out a strawberry farm that's nearby and see if they've got even just one or two strawberries to buy to see what they taste like do you know the strawberry uh i planted my strawberry it's nearly red to eat okay well we'll check it out just before we leave yeah yeah all right has it grown up Oh yeah, it has nearly grown, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh, that went from green to red quickly, didn't it? Yeah. Just needs one more go, I think. Yeah, but we're checking out today. Because I planted this one. Yeah? Yeah. Did you? I'm trying to make this a uh, healthy one help that. I think that one's just long gone now, Story, because uh, an animal has bitten it. I don't know which animal. No, <laughs> it could be any animal. It might be one morning until it's growing. Yeah, one more morning, I'm I think. I'm worried about this one, but I'm not worried about this one. <laughs> like, I am happy about this one survived. Mm, it did survive. Looks like a little heart, doesn't it? Yeah. Maybe it loves me. It does love you. It says, thank you for taking care of me. It's good that the strawberries have survived. Look at those beautiful dew drops there on the leaf. It's so delicate. So this other strawberry farm that's nearby, the reviews say that it's one of the only places near to Davao where you can get fresh strawberries almost all year. So I'm hoping we'll be able to do that. But if not, never mind. We now know where everything is. We could come back one day. So this is the strawberry you've been looking after, yeah? Yeah. Do you want to try and taste it? I can't taste the leaf. No, hold it from the leaf and give it a little bite. Tell me what you think. Nice. Yeah? Is it sweet? <laughs> or is it sour? Sweet. Is it? Really nice. So can I put it inside? <laughs> yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Look what Story's got. What's that? Strawberry. Wow. Look. <laughs> yeah, we picked it from the plant down there, didn't we? Wow. It's not quite ready there, is it? No, but I'm just eating it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're just checking out, saying big thank you to the chef. Yeah. What was your name? Uh, Ronel. Ronel. Yes. Thank you, Ronel, for preparing a vegan menu for us. Okay. It's very we delicious. It. <laughs> <laughs> you, Story, did you enjoy the food? Yeah, you had a nice breakfast. <laughs> and thank you to all the staff as well. <laughs> we really enjoyed our stay. We're just going to take a picture before we go, aren't we? <laughs> Story. You have so many stories to tell. <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs>
Oh, have you got on your hand? Bug. It's a cute bug, isn't it? Yeah. Like a spotty bug. Is it tickling you? Yeah. And do you want to put him on a leaf? Oh. There you go, he's exiting your hand. Bye bug. Let's go and see the mushroom farm. I'm gonna show Story the mushroom house. Check it out. Oh, oyster. Oh, oyster oh, look at these. So many of them. That's how they grow, you see? On the like the knob and they grow. Yeah. You see? And they're wet. Yeah. Underneath the details underneath the mushroom is, is beautiful, isn't it? It's so nice. What do you think of the mushroom farm? I like that. And also that the ones that I prefer from you This was our breakfast this morning. Can you see the mulberries growing on the tree? That's one right there. That's what we had on our food on the first not ready night. Yet. That one. No, it's not ready, I don't think. How beautiful is that to see berries growing on a tree? It's just something we're not used to seeing anymore because in Shargao we can't grow berries, it's the wrong climate. That's what I love about the Philippines, it's very varied. You've got lots of different places and different climates. It's very nice. So the Strawberry Hills isn't just a strawberry farm. Yeah, even a little playground for story. <laughs> yeah, you, and you've got your own YouTube channel, right? Yes, sir. What is it called? Dragon Reed Vlog. Dragon Reed Vlog. Okay, go check it out. Yay. Subscribe, small channel. All right. <laughs> See you again. Bye. 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 <laughs> Off to Strawberry Farm. All right. all right, we're just taking some selfies on the way out. Thank you for all your driving. <laughs> so we've actually been gifted a free ATV tour. We're going to go to the strawberry farm, riding in sunny weather today. <laughs> yeah. And this was unexpected. We are going to another field where we can do some actual strawberry picking. So this will be really fun. There's the strawberry field down there. You can see some workers. Yes. All right, this is very different, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing, strawberry. yeah. Wow, exclusive right. access. Yeah. <laughs> and the owner even gave us a little box that we can fill up with strawberries. I come story yeah. strawberry. <laughs> strawberries on the mind. Come on then, strawberry, let's go and pick some. <laughs> What a beautiful day for strawberry picking as well. My mummy's got her little red dress on. <laughs> Story's on the hunt. This is fantastic. There you go. This is so cool. I'm so glad we did this. Completely unexpected. Wow, what a treasure. You're an excellent snipper. <laughs> a good harvester. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I found paradise here. This is so cool. Picking strawberries from the field in the morning. This one looks like a love heart, doesn't it? Yeah. Getting so good at this. What a privilege story. Go, go. Snip. Ouch. All right. A little gift for you. And say salamat. Salamat. Another amazing experience for Story to put in her little memory box. I think we're going to leave here with a full bucket. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, let's go, let's go. All right. Huh? Fantastic. Okay. Can okay. you show me your box? Okay. Show me your strawberry box. Wow. Look how many you found. Amazing Story. On the back of the mud buggy, mm -hmm. I am going to have, have it in my lap. Okay, you're going to carry it on your lap, yeah? Yes, All yes, right, yes. Then. Let's go to the mud buggy. Bye bye, strawberry farm. Yeah. 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 Okay, the other likes to. likes that you have to yeah. make a video with that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm now a subscriber too. <laughs> <laughs> they want to see that. Yeah, strawberry picking. Just stopped off at this viewpoint. I mean, like a overview book. It's non. Yeah, more statues. They're like tribal characters, aren't they? I think there's more. Yeah, probably. Wow, beautiful. You found the viewpoint. You lead the way. Yeah. Come on, then show me where to go. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll be careful. There's a really drop down there. There is. See the road there. Thanks for letting me know. Might be squashed. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. This is cool. What a view, eh, Story? <laughs> Mum's looking around, enjoying the viewpoint. Just check that out. It's the perfect view for it as well. Perfect weather. We can see all the way into the distance. This is amazing. All these statues representing the tribal costumes and clothing that they used to wear up in these hills. I'm feeling very grateful to be up here today in this weather. It's lovely and cool. This is a strange one. What is? These guys, they're wearing strange costumes, aren't they? Oh, yeah. And they're doing a bit of a weird face, aren't they? Yeah. wonder what they're up to. No explanation <laughs> whatsoever. I'm going to get up here with them. Come on then. I'm going to do funny faces with them. Let's see. <laughs> they look funny. <laughs> Who can do the uh, funniest face? You do one. Ooh, you fit right in. <laughs> Looks like there's another viewpoint over there, Mines View. Got some things set up to take your picture behind. Fantastic view. <laughs> right, we're on our way back down to the van. One of the reasons why we've stopped here today is to find out which route we can actually take now because there's a lot of lockdowns happening all over Mindanao and we want to make sure... Story, can you hold it on? You okay? There we go. And we don't get stuck at a checkpoint or stuck in some kind of rut. So, June June's asking the locals, finding out which routes are open. Story, use your legs. I can't just hold you like that. There we go. <laughs> and then we'll find out the best route out of here. <laughs> Hi. 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 <laughs> Hi. <laughs> there we go. Back down. It's a nature and a culture park in Kazon. This is where we are right now. If you're looking for it, gift shops are still open, which is good. Keeping the locals some income. So we're looking at these little keychains here. Apparently, you can write your name on it. And I'm going to get a pair of sunglasses. One of these. I haven't got a pair of sunglasses. And these suit me. What do you think? Look, Story, your name. Dad. Is it spelt right, Story? Yeah. Can you spell it? S T O R. Sorry. Just by the side of the highway, Story's wearing a new hat. And we're going to go and buy some pineapples from the pineapple lady. Really busy road. We're just outside Valencia City. This is Mercy Sweet Pineapple Store. Three pineapples for 100 pesos. That's really cheap. Yeah. Let's get three. <laughs> they also cut them up for you in little bags. This reminds me of Thailand, doesn't it? Where we yeah. lived in Chiang Rai. They used to have pineapples like this yeah. for sale by the side of the road. Also got some little products here for sale. It's been a day of fruits today, isn't it? Starting off at Strawberry Mountain, now pineapple. You could even sit by the side here and have a little taste. That's cool. We're gonna buy three. It's a very good deal, isn't it? Three for 100 pesos, that's like less than two pounds. Salaman. Look at this. Next time, there's a dragon fruit there. Next <laughs> dragon fruits. So we're actually driving to a place called Hidden Valley Agri Resort to stay tonight and we're picking up fruits on the way. It's been a whole day of fruits, isn't it? Yeah, um, uh, next up is dragon fruit. Yeah, we're going to stop and get some dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Story! We found dragon fruits! <laughs> you excited about them? A dragon fruit on the the purple face. Yeah, the purple face fruits. See? Can you see them? When they're full up, they look like little fireballs, don't they? Yeah! Lots of good choice here. We're really happy about this. We're gonna take some food with us so when we get to the holiday house. So many ripe bananas as well. 
Why are they waving the sticks like that? To stop the driver. Oh, right, it's to get your attention, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Come, come. <laughs> come to me. Come. <laughs> Buy my vegetables. Buy me, buy me. <laughs> well, it works. Stay here, stay yeah. here. <laughs> we stay finally here. Got, we yeah. finally got the dragon fruit. Nice. Yes, looking forward to this. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> okay, that is it. We are going to end today's video now that we have our dragon fruits. Yes. It was a mission, wasn't it? A fruit day today. Yeah, we bought so much fruit. And strawberries as well, <laughs> didn't we? We found them. It's amazing. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video and we will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye! <laughs>